Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Get excited because today we are gonna go through part two of God's promises that he has left for us, his children. I'm super excited. This video is just full of reminders of the promises that God has left for us to give us hope and encouragement and just show us how much that he loves us. So let's jump right in. So this is actually, again, this is part two. So this is the fifth promise that God has given us. And it is that he has given us authority as his sons and daughters. And just like our parents here on earth, they want the best for us and they want to put, you know, the best opportunities available for their children. That's exactly how God is with us. And God has made us into like royalty, right? Because he's the king of all kings. And through Jesus, we have authority over everything on the earth. We are really in control, but a lot of the times we kind of don't realize how much control and authority we have over our lives and the things around us. So of course, let's jump into scripture. So this is Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So I've said this before in my previous videos, I love the absolutes when it comes to certain Bible verses, right? It says right here that of course we have authority over all the power of the enemy, all that's all inclusive. There's nothing outside of that. It's everything. And nothing shall hurt you. Nothing shall hurt you. That's crazy. And a lot of the times, again, I don't think we understand how much authority we really do have as his children. And I'm reading this awesome book right now with my parents by Blake Healy. It's called The Veil. And he sees in the spirit realm. He can literally see the angels, the demons, like what goes on in the spirit realm, like all the time. And the thing that was really enlightening to me from reading that book is that Again, we have so much power and authority over the enemy and like the demons, but sometimes we don't realize it. So that's why like we can be tormented or demonized in a lot of areas of our life. And like in a lot of examples, like he was talking about, you know, sometimes just us, like our thoughts have so much power. And we've talked about the power of our thoughts before, like our thoughts literally, you know, it sends out a, sing a signal almost to the demons and like the dark side, like, hey, like things are going on here. And like, those are the, the footholds that the dark side, like, hangs on to and uses to like demonize us so when we realize like okay like i'm not gonna entertain these thoughts or like asking the holy spirit in those moments like hey holy spirit i need you to like get me out of this thought pattern like that's the authority that we need to be claiming in the name of jesus that like we have that authority we don't have to just like succumb to our thoughts because those things can just get like out of hand and it's not just thoughts right it's things like even fears or worries or concerns that we have but we have authority all over all of that. Like we truly should be victorious through Jesus. And God wants to remind us of that, that we have the power through the name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus. We have that power. We just need to understand that and claim it and use that authority given to us by him and through him. Okay, number six. I love this. We are appointed for a purpose. God has a purpose for each and every single one of us. And I've used this many, many times because um, it's one of my favorite Bible verses that he used to like speak to me in the beginning, but it's Jeremiah 29, 11, where it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That's so huge. And I'm really in this space right now where I'm trying to ask God and understand what his purpose is for me. Like what purpose does he has does he have planned out for me? And again, we have free will as humans, so we can choose whatever path we think is best. But I know that God has a plan for each and every one of us. And I need his help in order to understand the plan that he has for me. Because we all fit in together, right? In this big massive world. And one of us not living up to our like fullest potential that God has set out for us, you don't even know. It could have like disastrous effects down the line because of each and every single person that like you interact with and that you touch so that's where i am right now like i know that he has a purpose for all of us and i'm asking him to show me what that purpose is so that i can live out that purpose that he has set out for us before we were even born he has had a plan for you so ask him god what is the plan that you have for my life and help me step into that plan with confidence and with trust and with faith to live out the life that you have planned for me 
and to you know make a difference in the kingdom and to make a difference in the name of Jesus and through him and that's just super important and something that I think all of us need to realize that no matter how little we may seem we are all a part of this like grand plan and we are all important and we all like intertwine with one another so understanding that you have a plan and a purpose and he has made that plan for you number seven we are given an abundant and eternal life through jesus this is the last promise i want to highlight and it's of course the biggest and you know the greatest one in my eyes is that there's just so much like greatness that god wants us to step into and a lot of the times we sell ourselves short or we're too scared or fearful to like step into again like what we talked about the plan that god has set out for us but he wants all of his children to have an abundant life this is from ephesians and my parents and i quote this all the time so god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think that's crazy and that's so true right like we think that we have this like you know great plan like mapped out but the plans that he has for us and the life that he has for us is exceedingly abundantly above what we could ever ask and that's incredible like he want like this is what we think is the best and this is really what he wants for the best like you can't even see it it's just just accept that so when i started this walk with jesus i started to realize this that he wants all of us to be like abundantly happy abundantly wealthy in the things of the kingdom he doesn't want us to live a life of lack and a like a life of despair like he has such great plans for us and those plans don't just relate to here on earth like these plans yes it's while we're here as humans on this earth but it's also eternal it's like our plans for us up in heaven and to you know be reunited with jesus in heaven and live forever and ever and ever and ever with him our bridegroom and that's just super important and beautiful and a really important promise to understand if you're not in a place of abundance know that that's not the plan of god and that you need to call on him to restore the things that have been taken from you and break down those walls that are holding you back from living in that abundant life because that's his plan that's a promise of his so if it's a promise it's like you know we say this a lot in my family you know it's like you have a million dollars in the bank all you need to do is just go and withdraw and that's the whole point about all these promises is that these are already promises that have been given to us we have all these promises in the bank all we need to do is go and make that transaction to withdraw these promises because they're readily and freely available to us we just need to understand like hey like it's here like go grab it go claim it in the name of jesus all right as always we're going to end in a prayer thank you father thank you father for orchestrating the time for me to record this video i feel like the enemy was trying to stop me in every way shape or form and form to recording this video but i know this needs to get out for everyone to hear so that they will know the promises that you have for them and Father, we are so grateful for the promises that you have already laid out for your children. All we need to do is just go to the bank and withdraw the promises that you have for us. And we are just so grateful for how amazing you are and how you have given us the authority over everything and that you want us to excel and have an abundant life and that you have created us for a purpose, that you have a plan for each and every single one of us, that you see us that worthy and important to the grand plan, that you need us to make everything complete in this world. And we thank you so much, Father, for just how faithful and how patient you are with your children. And Jesus, we thank you for being the perfect example for us. And I pray that the Holy Spirit gives us a nudge every time that we realize that we need to withdraw one of these promises to constantly remind us that we are sons and daughters of the Most High and that we need to claim what has been given to us through the blood of Jesus. And I pray all of these things in your son, mighty, mighty name. Amen. All right, guys, super excited. This is the end of August. I can't believe that literally every single month it just like flies by and I'm like, how the heck are we done with August and already moving on to September? I don't know how, but thanks for tuning in for this series this month. I think it was a great one. And I think it's important for us to like move forward from here so that we understand collectively who God is and how he wants to have a relationship with us and what that looks like. So I'm really excited about how this month went and I hope you guys are too. Um, as always, if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or ideas for what I should do next month or topics that you want me to talk about, drop a note in the comments below and share this with your family and friends 
so that they can realize how much God loves them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos every week. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Peace, love, and blessings to all of you. I pray so much abundance in your life, and I just want you to claim the promises that God has set out for you. So go to that bank and withdraw. All right, bye.